the verse of the day. And whatsoever ye do, do it heartily as unto the Lord and not unto men. That's the book of Colossians chapter 3, verse 23. Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Deombro Chapman, and I am a cinematographer here in Mobile, Alabama. And if this is your first time here, if you didn't see the last video, just a little background about me. I spent six years working in the news industry as a photojournalist, and I learned a lot doing that. And what I'm doing now is sharing with you all how working in the news industry helped me start my cinematography career. Whoa, 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 hey, 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 Don't y'all... <laughs> The more and more I fell in love with the camera, the more and more I wanted to do more creative work, more commercials, and get into short films and, and weddings and things of that nature. And when I started doing that, I, I decided it was time for me to move on a little bit. But I still use what I learned in the news industry to help me with what I'm doing today. Some of it's the same. It's definitely completely different, but some of it is the same. I told you about the wide shot, the tight shot, the medium shot last time. Now it's all about the settings. It wasn't, we, we didn't have time to color grade. We didn't have time for any of that. So you had one light to make sure your talent was, in, was, uh, was lit correctly and it wasn't dark and your white balance had to be correct. And we had this big camera, this big news camera that had a auto white balance button on the front of it. And you held a white card in front of it or if your talent had a, a white shirt on that would expose the white shirt and you would white balance off of that shirt or whatever. But in cinematography, it's a little bit different. I'm starting to focus more on Kelvin. What's the color temperature? And what's the creative style that I'm going for, right? So what I learned is daytime is 5,600 Kelvin and nighttime is 3,800 Kelvin. And if you're indoors and you're dealing with fluorescent lighting, that can depend. Most of the time I do 4,200 Kelvin, but sometimes it's between 3,800 and 4,200 Kelvin. And what I like most about cinematography is that you don't have to stick with that, right? You can use that to uh, evoke emotions. Say for instance, right now I'm filming in the morning. So I got this bright sunlight. But what if I wanted to make this look more moody and look more like a dramatic scene? I could change the color temperature to about 3,800 to 3,200 Kelvin, bring the exposure down, and now it looks like I'm shooting at a completely different time. So I could still film this in the right color temperature, in the right exposure, and then get in the post and then change the color temperature, right? Color grade it, make it more blue, and bring the exposure down. And now we're working in blue hour. I'm pretty sure all of you, a lot of you that's watching this video, you all know about white balance. You know about exposing correct and, uh, correctly. So I want to go more into like the cameras that I've been able to use and the lenses that I've been able to use and lighting techniques, something that can help you along the way to become a better director of photography, whatever title you give yourself. If you all have any questions, comment below. Let me know what's on your mind and I'll try my best to answer your questions if you want to know more about what it was like working in the news industry. I was helped by the YouTube community, so I want to do the same and give it back to you. Not only am I a cameraman or a director of photography or a cinematographer, whatever you want to call it, if you haven't figured it out or not, uh, I'm a follower of Jesus Christ. Through every platform that I have, through everything that I do, my first priority, my first goal is to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. Like I said in the last video, if you don't have Jesus, but you have all the talent in the world, you still have gain nothing what does it profit a man to gain the world and lose his whole soul so i want to use this platform here to spread the gospel that's my main goal to eventually get into making christian films uh, christian short films christian movies and i'm going to get there one day and right now what i'm going to do is take you on the journey with me and what we can do is build an entire community of christian filmmakers making films that the children of god are proud to watch and excited to watch welcome along this journey please like and subscribe if you want to know where we go from here all right Stay tuned. See y'all next time.